In this video, we'll be solving a mixture problem. I like to use a graphic organizer when I encounter a mixture problem. So um, that's what these diagrams will be. I have a mixture here and a container here with the mixture. And I'm adding these two together to get the final mixture. So to get a thousand gallons of a mixture that was 56% alcohol, it was necessary to mix a quantity of 20% alcohol solution with a quantity of 80% alcohol solution. How much of each was required? So this uh, beginning part right here is what I want to end up with. I want to get a thousand gallons, a thousand gallons, and it is 56% alcohol. Now notice all of these have alcohol, so I don't have to worry about any mixing up of the types of solution. I'm mixing a 20% alcohol with 80% alcohol. Okay, And I don't know how much of either of these that I'm going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and just put X for my 20% alcohol and Y for my 80%. Now once I have everything filled out in my graphic organizer, then I'm going to get two equations from this. One equation comes from multiplying 20% times x plus 80% times y equals 56% times 1,000. So that's one of the equations. And the other equation comes from these quantities. X plus Y has to equal a thousand gallons. So there's my two equations. Should be sufficient to solve for the two unknowns. I'm going to simplify this equation, this top one. Um, I'm going to multiply through by 100 to remove these percent signs. So every term, I'm going to multiply by 100. And that'll leave me with um, 20x plus 80y equals 56 times 1,000, so 56,000. Let's go ahead and multiply every term on this equation by negative 20. And I'll use elimination on that. On these two. So this is negative 20x and negative 20y and a negative 20,000. Adding these, they go away. I have a 60y equals 36,000. Divide both sides by 60. And I have y is equal to 600. So it looks like 600 gallons of 80%.
Now, if I need a total of a thousand gallons for my final mixture, and 600 gallons is the 80%, that means 400 gallons of 20%.